Hey y'all, tonight we're going to talk about how to remove a T10 torque screw. And we're going to see how these uh, tamper proof bits line up and why some are good and why some are not. This one here, this came in this cheap set from uh, Harbor Freight that I did a review about before. I'll put a video, I'll put a link to it right up here. Anyway, yeah, this seems like the hole's not deep enough in this one. And when you when you go to try to uh, take the screw out, you strip it out. Especially if you're using a, uh, a screwdriver like this or even a uh, impact gun. You know, you use it lightly if of course but it strips out because the hole's not deep enough and it just it's just a mess. So some of these these ain't all they're cracked up to be. They're all they're not all the same. The cheap ones are cheap. You can see how the hole in this one is not so deep. I think you can see that. Anyway, so anyway, I got a set of these. It's called Cephuly, S E P U L Y. And I got a 10 pack of these T10s. And they have a nice, nice deep hole. They're already magnetic. You don't need a, the magnetic bit holder. They fit in there nice, nice and snug, nice and snug. That's the other thing when you're using these, before you start, you got to make sure they're uh, in there deep. Right? So you might go like this and think you got it in there and then it'll start spinning, but it won't work. So anyway, this set from uh, Sepoli, I'll link to it down in the description. Very nice set, 10 pieces, $10. Already magnetic, like I said, marked on each bit. There's other sets you could get, but I think this is the only one that's the tamper proof ones. And it, it tells you that they're tamper proof and it tells you that they're magnetic. Well, they really are magnetic and they really are tamper proof. I mean, the magnet's not strong, strong, but it's strong enough. And if you need it stronger, you just uh, use one of the magnet things, but yeah, it's magnetic. Okay. Okay. <coughs> anyway, if you don't have one of these, it's not going to be easy to get these screws out. You can get them out with a, uh, you might, if you can get a flat screwdriver in there. Like the Allen key is not going to work because of the little nipple sticking up in the screw. And these screws ain't, ain't all, you know, they ain't all they're cracked up to be. You know, some of them are made different. Some of them have the thing low. Some of them have it high. So, you know, the screws, the quality of the screws is lacking. So that, that causes you get the uh, bit failure too, like this one. See, this one, this pin's real low. I can almost grab it with this, this, uh, stripped out one but the other ones you can see I can't grab it at all this one I can see that one the pin is hardly hardly not there but then the other ones the pins sticking up too high see so yeah so it's good to have the right tool but you can do it with a flat screwdriver but yeah or an allen key if you have the right allen key and it's not a tamper proof, you might be able to do it. But if you're looking to get some T10s, I would get these tamper proof ones. You could use them on tamper proof screws and not tamper proof screws. And you'd be all set. Because these, because come on, these T10s, they're not going to last long. Even the ones I'm recommending here, you know, if you're using them in your impact gun, they're not going to last too long. So anyway, 
that's it. If you got tamper proof screws, like on this battery T10, get the set, 10 bucks, 10 pieces. Or if you want, you can buy small sets, but they're none of them are tamper proof. You know, by Makita, by Bosch. You can buy the T10s separate, but none of them are tamper proof at all. So you have to depend on a guy like Set Belief, made in China, to give you your tamper proof tools. But these are at least are quality. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.